Hello friends, in this video, we will learn what do we mean by terms of trade. Terms of trade can be defined as the rate at which goods are exchanged between the countries. Loosely speaking, terms of trade are the ratio of exports to imports of a particular nation. In the real world, it's not just two countries that trade between each other, but most of the countries keep trading with each other. Hence, the terms of trade are given in the form of indexes. You will understand what I mean by this as the lecture progresses. There are different types of terms of trade indexes that we are going to study today. The first, the gross barter terms of trade. The second, the net barter terms of trade. Third, the income terms of trade. Fourth, the single factorial terms of trade. Fifth, the double factorial terms of trade. And lastly, the utility terms of trade. Let us start with gross barter terms of trade. It was given by an economist called Tosig. Gross barter terms of trade is given to us as the quantity of imports upon the quantity of exports multiplied by 100. Notice that the import-export ratio is given in terms of quantity. So let's say we were in the year 2019. In 2019, a country imports 150 quantity of goods and exports 100 quantities. For that particular year, you will see that the terms of trade would be 150%. The 150% over here showcases that for every 100 units of goods, that a country exports, it receives 150 units of goods. And this is a good thing because for fewer exports, you are getting more goods. Let's say in 2020, the ratio falls to 125 by 100. Your terms of trade would fall to 125%. We can clearly see a deterioration in the terms of trade. However, this is not a bad thing for a country as it is still importing more for the exports it's providing. As long as the ratio remains above 100, it is favorable for the country because for lesser exports, you can demand more imports. There are a certain limitations to calculate terms of trade by this method. One of the biggest criticism that TOSIC's concept faced was that the ratios are given in terms of quantities and not prices. For practical purposes, where billions of quantities are imported and exported, it would not be possible to calculate terms of trade in this manner. Secondly, also while calculating the balance of payments, one would not be able to record the transaction in terms of quantities. However, we have one more index that gets rid of this limitation, the net barter terms of trade. The net barter terms of trade is also sometimes referred to as the commodity terms of trade. The net barter terms of trade is the ratio of the prices a country gets for its exports to the prices it pays for its imports. It is given as Px1 upon Pm1 multiplied by 100. Here, Px1 and Pm1 are price indexes. Px1 showcases the prices 
that a country gets for its exports and PM1 is the prices it receives for its imports. Let's say that the prices it gets for its exports is given as 125. The 125 is the average prices of exports. Similarly, the average prices of imports is given as 150. If you solve for this, we get the net barter terms of trade somewhere close to 83.66. As you can see that this showcases for every 100 rupees that a country pays for its imports, it receives only 83.6 rupees for its exports. Which is not a good thing. A country who has the net barter terms of trade which is above 100 is favorable. Otherwise, it's not so favorable. However, there are certain limitations to net barter terms of trade as well. The first one being that there is a difficulty in constructing the price indexes. As they are averages, a lot of time it becomes difficult to account for services while calculating the net barter terms of trade. Also, rather than just looking at the prices, a country should look at the amount of income it is able to earn through the exports it does. And this is because increased productivity can lead to fall in prices. Hence, the demand for your products in international market will go up. That increased demand is not captured by the net barter terms of trade. To get rid of this shortcoming, we have another index called the income terms of trade. We will learn about it in the next video. Until then, Adios, hasta la vista.